Rust is a terrible game. At least that's what you might think if you went off of the opinions on Twitter. Yet the same players bashing the game continue to play Rust for countless hours every single week. So to get to the bottom of this paradox and figure out why your average Rust player is a pain-seeking masochist, I'm going straight to the source. I'll be interviewing random Rust players and getting their thoughts on the current state of the game. So I spawned on the beach and headed to Outpost to ask some of Face Punch's citizens about their feelings. And make sure to subscribe so I can beat Leonardo in our race to 69 subscribers. Can I interview you about the state of Rust? Sure, I guess. Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, interview me. Hello? Hello? Hey, could I interview you? Sure, sure. Sure. All right, let's go. Yes. What's up, man? What's your name? Hello. Welcome. My name is Cox Lock Rock Sock. Nikita. Uh, my name is Rossad. My name is Burke Flacco. So what's your name? CBL John Hurts. Stands for Certified Boy Lover. I am uh, what a trip. My name is Joe. Carson. Uh, my name is Smoke Dog. What's your, what's your name? It's uh, literally what it's on top of me. My real name is Moses. Chinese guy. My name is Roman. How long have you been uh, playing Hello, Rust? Hello. And how many hours do you have? I have 3,000 hours and I have no life. I have 14 hours. I peaked on Contra Rust. I was about 4K hours on Contra Rust. And I just got on PC about 200 hours ago. I've had my PC for three days and I have like 11 hours. Bro, I play two weeks. I have 30 hours. 3K hours. Four years. I have uh, 1.3K hours. Almost 4K, bro. Well, I purchased the game in like 2012. I got about 2.3K hours. 2K hours 1500 scenes 2018 my hours are right in the round 10,001 why'd you start playing the game my friends wrapped me into it uh, because um this game very nice and i have a uh, small penis i started playing rust in the first place because i had severe depression because i'm a new autistic i saw it on an ad my friend was playing like that's the only reason to play this game is if you're playing with friends it seemed like a really fun game to play honestly just watching YouTube videos. Uh, it's on sale. I like the game. I like gameplay. Why do you keep playing Rust? I wouldn't play if it wasn't fun. Why do you keep playing? Hello. Because I enjoy the concept of taking people's stuff that they worked so hard to get. Nothing really else to play right now. He's suicidal. I'm addicted. It's a curse and I cannot get rid of it. It gives me purpose. Yeah, I mean, I'm the autistic people. Do you like Rust? I, f I hate Rust, but I keep playing it. I don't like Rust currently. Kinda. Yes and no. Gameplay is interesting, but in engine part, it's shit. It's all right. I can't, I can't play it like I used to. Well, I'm sure. I guess getting older so I'm getting less interested in gaming you know it's getting less fun yeah dude oh yeah absolutely do you think the game is at its best point right now hell no Rust's best point is definitely not right now no I don't think it let AK spray the best AK spray in the world I think the game's best point was in like 2021 where you shot your gun like the bullets would go cars are a dog shit addition like to this game song. I think it could be they, have, they haven't added shit shit and it's way better than a long time ago and I think it could be better I'd say it's at its best all that new content it's making it more popular right now the game accelerates a lot faster whether that's good or bad that's for you to decide since you started playing do you think rest has gotten better no i think a lot of the updates are kind of stupid like the water thing we don't really need it it could have done other shit i don't appreciate game having so many animal glitches and ai glitches they changed it for the worse the game is nowhere near as good as before i think they've balanced the game very badly and made it unskillful i like the new recoil but i also don't i don't really like the recoil update i don't really like enjoy some of the stuff and all the aim cone and all that the competitive scenes are already dead uh, uh it's definitely more playable for new people you don't have to aim train for hours you can just kind of pick up the game i miss old recoil i think anything b before the the recoil change was when i was like really addicted yeah, i used to be stay up all fucking night playing this game and if they would uh, implement the old recoil i think a lot of old players in the competitive scene would be back there's literally no skill left in this game it's like somebody says they want a UK and it doesn't mean shit. All the it's ancient just... servers got murdered. Yeah. Since you've been playing, what's been the biggest change to the game? Helicopters. I feel like the sea. A lot of the times, I mean, you're not really people on the map. They're all out in the ocean. 
doing oil and stuff. I mean, it takes away from monuments and stuff. New water? During console, they had the old hollows, and the hollows were, like, really big. Oh, uh, and you also used to be able to jump through fucking walls. Uh, multi-TC, if you wanted to look at it at a building aspect. I think the ocean update was kind of cool. I guess the recoil was a pretty big update as well. The biggest change definitely is the gunplay. The spray pattern being random, it's just ridiculous. Need to change that back ASAP. The recoil update has been the biggest change. If you're an old-time OG Rust player, you have a hard time, you know, adapting towards the new recoil. It's for, you know, lower base players better, I guess. I don't think it's better. I think they should have done it different instead of just making it easy like this. That not everyone's just spraying in a straight line, being able to beam you from uh, 400 meters, you name it. They'll spray you in a straight line with an AK, but it doesn't happen no more. What do you think of the Rust community? <laughs> fuck, toxic as fuck, of course. <laughs> Can you wait it and I, I can't join the group. Oh, toxic. It's funny, but it's toxic. <laughs> it's it's a good toxic, though. Yeah, I enjoy all the toxicity. Oh, I, I, I love it. I love how fucking racist and weird everyone is. That's what makes it fun. Oh, the community. <laughs> it's lovely, bro. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> I think some people are brain dead, but some people are, are nice. It's every community. 50-50 half of shit that kills naked on the beach and half of normal guys. I think uh, the toxicity about this game makes it this game, you know? Rust is basically toxic. Funky experience every time. What do you think is the biggest problem with the game right now? Kind of the recoil. The recoil. Zergs, plans, camper vans, and the gunplay. All three, they're combined. Lacks and low FPS. Optimization. Hackers. I think hackers, and I think the AI shouldn't have a limit. Like the, the team AI? The problem is we could have wasted them and then now the players play like a bitch, like this guy. People going up to you and saying like, uh, you're a gamer word or something like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, that, like that's, uh, that's part of the game. What do you think about the statement, Rust is dying? I think it's partially true. I don't know the stats, but I feel like maybe there are a lot less people than there were before. Wait, aren't the numbers up? I don't think it's dying. Never, because of racism. Racism is always gonna keep it alive. Probably I disagree, because they made a lot of cool stuff like electricity. I always see this game like go from like 1300 pop to maybe 800 on, on wipe days, and that's pretty damn good in my opinion. Nah, I, I, they're... they're... There's a lot of players daily. You ever play Rusty Moose? That that's like a thousand players. I mean, a lot of people say that about a lot of different things. I feel like the people that play this shit, they just, you know, what I mean, they stuck with it. It's like a cult. Do you have anything, anything you want to say? The Rust Devs, you're fucking retarded. I I had too much quans when I was younger. Now I'm I have screwed. I have quans on my nose. M O B, money over bitches. <laughs> Please donate to me in game. Um. Scrap as much as you can. Thanks. I appreciate it. Shout out J Rons. Wait, 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 wait. Is this getting posted? Yeah, probably. Where? Uh, OnlyFans. Good interview. Goodbye. Never do console because console is dog shit. You know, I just fuck around sometimes on here. Holy cow, what the heck? Oh my hey, God, yo, I got, I got a first bag. I'm gonna kill, I'll kill you. I'll shoot. Yo, run for the AK kick. Come on, go. go TG. Fuck OTG! Oh, OTG on bottle! Push, push, push. That was pretty crazy. Hashtag interview game. moment. Thank you for interviewing us. I love you. I'm going to watch your video when it comes out. These interviews were going great, but I felt like I needed a little bit more, so I left Outpost to see if I could find someone at Oxum's. Hello! Hello? Hi, Anato. Hey. What a coincidence hello. meeting you here. I, hello, Philbo. I'm just uh, eating some food. Get in here right now. Get the fuck in here. Turn around! <laughs> Well, this is Anardo. He's my friend and a British YouTuber who's been making videos on Rust for over six years. And he has really good insight into the future of Rust. Anyway, well, man, would you like to be interviewed about the state of Rust? Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, yeah. wonderful. Come here. Hello, Anardo. So the first question I have for you today is what is your name? My name's Anardo. How long have you been playing yes, Rust, yes. Anardo? And how many hours do you have? I believe since 2015, 2016. Been watching since 2015. And I have... It's not showing me. Didn't you fucking Steam Overlay? Where do you see it? I have exactly 3,259 hours in this game. Which is not much compared to the other people out there. I don't 
don't like to play this game, Philbo. Why Why did you start playing Rust? When I was 15 years old, 14 years old, I used to watch Vertigo, Soup, Faceless, Zuckles, so Winter. Those guys got me into the game. Those guys made me no life this game. I hate them. Every single one of them with my guts. They they sucked me into this fucking dog shit piece of game, Philbo. This, this game sucks ass. I, li I love it, but I hate it. You know, it's like a love-hate relationship. Why do you keep playing? Business, Philbo. It's just business. It's just business. So is it fair to say that you do not like Rust? To an extent. I like the interactions. Like this, for example, Phil. I I I'm enjoying this. It's totally you unscripted know? interaction on a official vanilla server. Yeah, yeah. should we get rid This heli's being really fucking annoying. Should we just, uh, one sec. We just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, where were we? Oh, yeah. Where unscripted, we? Uh, unscripted, uh, totally vanilla unscripted vanilla server. Vanilla <laughs> server. We were on a budget, Phil. Uh, I want to know, so why did you choose Rust to make videos on? I'm going to be honest, it was between Ark Survival or Rust. I'm kind of glad I went down Rust, because Ark Survival is a pile of shit compared to Rust. I remember playing on my little laptop, 10 FPS on my bed. But then I was begging my mom, Mom, could I get a gaming PC because I can't run this game called Rust? And Mama got me a PC. And then from there, that's when I started playing and recording Rust. Hate it ever since. Why is Rust a good game to make content for? Edgy players, toxic players, hackers, racist children. The community's great, <laughs> you know? Since you've been playing Rust, do you think it's better now or do you think it's worse? Like the game? I feel like a lot of the OG content creators, the funny ones, have kind of like left because they realized the game's gone a little more try hardy PvP, less interactions. My opinion, it's gone a little worse but that's just probably just because i missed the old rust you know like 2016 rust the nostalgia but you can say that for any game like minecraft or or like call of duty i think it's just like a nostalgia thing bro i just felt, I, I felt like i'm just shitting on the game <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but honestly the developers are good though the game's growing that's a plus since you've been playing what do you think is like the biggest change that the game has had maybe the uh pvp update you can you can argue with a lot I hate hdrp update pvp update was a big one because people like me who are dog shit at the game we actually have skill now and those people who spent thousands of hours practicing the spray are useless no skill they, they're, they're dog shit now they're mid you know it's, it's game sense over skill of shooting the gun which i believe we have yeah you think we have game sense <laughs> no we don't feel that bullshit. I'm just talking <laughs> shit. what do you think is the biggest issue with rust i feel like people People progress too quickly. I miss the prim fights on day one. Shit's like two hours of prim fights and then people have guns instantly. Before it was harder to get weapons and shit. But people, people get weapons so fast to the point where like the prim shit is useless, you know? I got two questions left. Do you think Rust is dying is one? I don't think it'll ever die. It's the best survival game I think out there. I feel like Minecraft is obviously bigger. Compare Ark survival to this game. This one, this one is better. But uh, I don't think it's dying. But I feel like a lot of the OG PVPers, the, the tryhard sweats, you know, the UK um, hey, be I'm a beamer. I'm a beamer. You know, those those ones like I can beam those ones. Th those guys are. Yeah, those guys are leaving, I think. But the new players, the the new ones, like the uh, the OTV viewers, they're coming along. They're babying the game, I, th I think. But, but for the right for the good reason, it's business at the end of the day. You know, it's a business. And the final question is, what do you see in like the future of Rust YouTube? People are struggling to get content now, aren't they? When that tugboat came out, everybody was jumping on that shit. You know, a part of me, low-key, like, like the evil side of me, wants to see the game die just to see what these other YouTubers will do. But a part of me doesn't obviously want that <laughs> because obviously I, I rely on Rust as well. Y you, you probably had that thought too, Phil, right? Like if Rust <laughs> dies, what will Blueprint do? He's going to be like, welcome to Minecraft. You know, have Spoon Kid, I played Minecraft for 25 hours. Or I played Ark for 25 hours challenge i th i want to see all these like only rust youtubers start branching into like other games like once cs2 yeah. comes out i want people to be gaming cs2 no, no, but honestly like for five years time like we don't know what's gonna happen to rust you know but look at daisy for example that shit's dying you That's know true. but the devs the devs are good rust devs best devs honestly alistair yeah. love him you know you gotta love alistair you gotta love you gotta love gary you gotta love holmesy and you gotta appreciate uh bill i love the game deep down i do love the game i really do but i wish there was just more interactions like this i'm lonely phil i have no friends people don't like me in the rest community hey hey <laughs> if you like this video then subscribe i'm in a race with mr beast to 69 billion subscribers so fucking suck! i just wanna have fun around now